Eve is the second planet from Kerbal and it is the largest terrestrial planet in the original Kerbola system. But that is probably not its most interesting feature when you see it like this. Its intense and vibrant purple color catches your attention immediately. And that is what we will investigate today. Why is Eve purple? And what kind of substance could be swirling around in its atmosphere and oceans to make it this color? Well, the first thing I did is check Eve's wiki page to see whether it tries to give an explanation about the contents of its atmosphere and or oceans. In the ocean sections, it refers to the fact that the Kerbals are calling the liquid Explodium. And it has a density of 1.5 tons per cubic meter. It says that it behaves similarly to rocket propellant. But I think I would be happy if I can find any substance that can stay liquid on EVE and that is also purple. We will be relying on good old Google to find possible substances. And wouldn't you know it, I found a possible substance quite quickly actually. Iodine is a material that gives off a purple vapor at room temperature. So if there were enough of it, it could possibly fill up an entire atmosphere. But what about purple oceans? Because a purple gas wouldn't help us there. Eve's average surface temperature is quite a bit higher than Kerbin or Earth. And Eve also has an atmospheric pressure that is five times higher than here on Earth. Temperature and pressure can influence both the boiling and melting point of a substance. The higher the temperature, the more energetic particles are in the material and thus more likely they are to move about more freely. Like liquid water that is being boiled, the heat makes the molecules move about more until they can flee and become vapor. Pressure works the other way around. The higher the pressure, the more the particles are being pushed together and thus restrained. So the balance of these two variables is very important to the current phase of a substance. So to figure out the phase of iodine on Eve, we can look at a so-called phase diagram. Such a diagram is different for every substance. And this is the one for iodine. It tells us what phase the substance is depending on the temperature and pressure. If we draw a line at the atmospheric pressure of Eve, 5 atmospheres, and do the same for the temperature, 425 Kelvin, we will find its phase at the cross section, right here. As you can see, iodine will be liquid in this case, and a purple one at that. It will still give off a purple vapor, I think, as it did so as a solid, so why not as a liquid? But would this vaporizing of iodine not cause everything to be in a gaseous state given enough time? Possibly, yes, but Eve also has some colder spots, like at the poles, that could make the iodine atmosphere turn back into a liquid or even a solid again, for it to vaporize again, creating some kind of cycle. So iodine could solve the purple ocean and atmosphere simultaneously. But there would be still one problem. Liquid iodine has a higher density than 1.5 tons per cubic meter. Well, I also found that iodine is easily dissolvable in something called hexane and it would still be purple. Hexane has a relatively low density. We can imagine that iodine dissolved in this would be denser. But you would need quite a bit of iodine and I'm not sure if that much iodine can be dissolved to reach that magical 1.5 tons that we actually need. Anyhow, I do find this idea of iodine pretty cool. Note that this is purely speculation, but it is still fun to think about these kinds of possibilities and what the consequences would be for them. If you like seeing science being applied to Kerbal Space Program, then be sure to look at some of my other videos. 